The conflict between Israel and Palestine began in the middle of the 20th century. Earlier, after the First World War, the territory of both states formed Mandatory Palestine, which was part of the British Empire until the end of the Second World War. The British wanted to organize a Jewish national state on this land, because after the First World War it was very fashionable to split up the losing empires and create small national states in their places. Like Austro-Hungary that was cut into a dozen countries, the Ottoman Empire suffered the same fate. And I hope you understand that Britain gained control over Palestine and some other Arabic territories right after this cutting. As a result, the first Jewish settlement appeared in Palestine, which led to a conflict between Arabs and Jews. British tried to control the situation and calm parties, but in the end they got tired and decided to throw off such a dangerous cut. But in order to preserve the image, the British threw up their hands and said that they didn't know how to divide the territories correctly. So let the UN solve this problem. The United Nations has developed two solutions to the problem. The first proposed the creation of two independent but united by an economic union states, while Jerusalem was to become a territory under international control. The second proposed the creation of a federation that would consist of Jewish and Arab subjects. The first project won, which did not suit anyone, because most of the territory of Palestine is a lifeless desert where it is impossible to grow food. As a consequence, the main conflict between Jews and Arabs took place over the fertile lands. Well, Plus, the Arabs didn't want to see a Jew state next to them at all. But no one cared anymore. The UN held a vote where most of the countries voted for the two independent states. As a result, on May 14, 1948, the Great Britain withdrew its troops from Palestine. On the same day, Ben Gurion proclaimed the state of Israel. And the next day began the first Arab-Israel war. Then there was the Suez Crisis, the Six-Day War, the War of Attrition, the Yom Kippur War, Lebanon War, Second Lebanon War. In general, for the last 70 years, this small piece of land became the land of war. Thank the British and their monarchs for this. So, the main problem is that after the Six-Day War, Israel occupied the Gaza Strip and the West Bank of the Jordan River, where several thousand Jews and millions of Arabs live. At the same time, Israel didn't annex the territories it seized in 1967, and didn't grant Israel citizenship to the Arab residents. The territories that came under the Israel control in 1967 are defined by the overwhelming majority of countries of the world as occupied. Israel defines them as controversial. As a result, a real guerrilla war and constant terrorist acts became in these territories. During this period, by the way, the terrorist organization Hamas was formed. Israel, in turn, has been trying to resolve the situation by brute force for several decades. De facto, martial law was imposed on the Arab territory, and the government tried to colonize new lands by creating Jewish settlements on the Arab territory. The idea is clear, to dilute the local Arab with Jews in order to stabilize the situation, or simply squeeze them out of the territory. In general, the plan didn't work, and up until the early 90s, Israel fought with this problem. As a result, Israel government decided to create a Palestine Arab autonomy in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank, as well as to withdraw troops and Jewish settlers leaving the Arab to themselves. This action ended only in 2005 with the cruel plan of unilateral disengagement. It was cruel for a number of reasons. First of all, Jewish settlers had to be driven out of their homes by the Israel army and literally deported to inner Israel. At the same time, their houses and entire villages were demolished so that the colonists could not return home. Secondly, after the demarcation, there were literally only Arabs on the territory of the autonomies, from whom Israel fenced off with a huge fence, so that Muslims would sit in their autonomy and not interfere. And finally, it was a very stupid act, because at the very first elections in the autonomy, one... Whom do you think? That's right, 
representatives of Hamas. Do you understand? Israel has created Arab enclaves with its own hands, where terrorists have already officially taken power into their own hands. Yes, perhaps Israel thought that if the Arab were given autonomy and election, they would live quietly at home and not interfere with the rest of Israel. And perhaps this plan would have succeeded in 1968 when these territories just became part of Israel. However, by 2005, two or three generations of Palestinians has already grown up who were experiencing the forceful pressure of Israel. Perhaps the only sure way out was to continue the policy of integration. I don't know, but in the end we got terrorist government in the autonomous region and a huge fence along the entire borders of the autonomy. So, since 2005, Hamas has been constantly shelling the Israel cities and raiding border villages. Israel responds with anti-terrorist operations, air raids and full-scale blockade of the Gaza Strip. Yes, the Gaza Strip is literally under siege. It was fenced off from the land and from the sea it was blockaded by the Israel Navy. It was only in the 2010s that some relief and the opportunity to import food, medicine and consumer goods began. But this could not solve the humanitarian catastrophe that the Gaza Strip is still experiencing. Nevertheless, in the 2010s the situation has more or less stabilized. Shelling from both sides continued, but thanks to the Iron Dome, Israel was able to defend itself from them. Counter-terrorist operations also took place, but they turned into air and missile strikes on the infrastructure of terrorists. The Israel infantry mainly guarded the perimeter of the sector, destroyed networks of underground tunnels and partially didn't take part in the large operations. However, in 2023 the situation began to escalate.